that project, um, I hit the ground running. And it wasn't all me. Like I didn't do all of this, but but I was managing a lot and organizing a lot of our efforts. But yeah, one of those was acquiring the equipment. Um, there are times when I would have told somebody at our company, like, you need to hire a subcontract to do this kind of work. But this is one of those things where we can do this. We, we don't need to, to spend the time getting, getting a subcontractor to do this. Um, but I think all of us were using a drone called a Phantom 4, might have been a Pro, but they all use the same battery. And so we all had you know two or three batteries for our drones, but uh, a drone battery will only last like 20, 25 minutes on a really good day. But when you're taking off and landing and doing a lot of hovering and moving back and forth, that will drain a battery quickly because uh, it's expensive for, it takes a lot of electricity to, for a drone to keep itself in the air. We were also on an island. We were never far from the beach. So there was winds that the drone had to fight against. Um, one of the big discussions we had was how many batteries are we going to need? Um, you know, if, you, if your car has a half a tank of gas or you need to fill it up with gas, you don't. But if a drone battery only has 50% life, you're not supposed to be flying that, that drone and you're not going to get a lot of work out of it anyways. But we were able to get two or three houses on a single battery before it was time to pop in a new battery. What we determined was to fly for eight hours worth of work a day, which may have been a total of one to two hours actual flight time. We were going to need about five batteries per drone. And then we also needed a rapid charger and we needed a way to charge it in the vehicles that we were driving around the island. Five batteries was exactly the right number. After a battery died, I'd pop it on the rapid charger. Next flight, battery died, battery died. I'd have a rapid charger with three batteries and I'd have two left. By the time that fifth battery was dead, the first one that I'd put on the charger was ready to go again. Sometimes you know, I was cutting it close, but I was able to just rapid fire. Again, like I said, it turned out to be right the exact right amount. I don't, can't claim that I was the one that came up with the math <laughs> to figure that out. I think that was kind of flying by the seat of our pants. Um, but, but it worked out. Um, <laughs> you don't have to use this, but, uh, one of the pilots lost a drone. It happened to clip a, a, a telephone wire, not a power wire or anything like that. And it could have happened to anybody. Just you're going out there and doing the process over and over again. You might kind of just lose your train of thought, understandably. Well, that drone was down. I had another drone on the way and I was actually going over to Puerto Rico for a couple of days where I knew Best Buy sold drones. I told the project manager like, look, this is not going to stop us. I'm going to be gone anyway. She can use my drone. I'll purchase another one at Best Buy in San Juan in Puerto Rico when I go there. No, 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 no. Well, they ended up spending like double the amount of money to purchase a drone from a camera store. It was the right kind of drone, but it was like double the cost because you're in the Virgin Islands. And um, I called the Best Buy in San Juan. And I said, y'all have any DJI Phantom 4s? And they said, no. I said, well, that's okay. I'm just going to drive over there and visit a couple of Best Buys. So I go over there. Later that afternoon, I'm at that Best Buy. I said, they don't have any drones. And I go to the drone section and there it is. It said right there with a big do not inventory sign on it. But I was so, I was really furious that the project management had not listened to the person that they hired to be their subject matter expert for this. And they went and wasted the money um, on that drone. We could have gotten one for half the price that was exactly what we needed. Um, again, there's more to, to whatever your profession is, whether you're a doctor or a lawyer or a college professor, you have to know more than what your profession is. Because you know, somebody's got to do it right. Somebody's got to teach other people about it. And you got to interact with other disciplines. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember how the saying goes, but it's like uh, in college, they break everything up into all these disciplines, but life is interdisciplinary. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 exactly. I love that. I mean, even my, my personal finances or managing my home, like it's all, it's all managing something and, mm -hmm. and not everything that you do in life is going to be what they taught you in college or in high school or whatever, even though they should probably be teaching some of those things. But uh, yeah, it all, it all comes together 
in, in your life. Yeah.